Good morning. I hope everybody is doing good out there. I'm, uh, I personally am pretty tired this morning. And, uh, I'm honestly, I'm just, <laughs> I'm tired of all of this. <laughs> I'm just ready for some human connection, you know? Um, <clears throat> I miss all the, the students and, um, I miss my teachers and I don't know, it's just a lot of things, you know, that I've kind of just been reminiscing on this week that maybe I had taken for granted. And, uh, you know, now once they're gone, once those things are gone, it's easy to, you know, miss them. But once they're in front of us, it's kind of like, oh, well, they're here. You know, it's just an assumed thing that they're always going to be here. And that's really not the case as we're learning through this whole, through this whole experience. Um, yesterday, I went floating on the Kings River and it was extraordinary. And uh, yeah, it was just like true therapy and, and happiness, like all bottled up into one flowing stream, one river. It was amazing. But uh, we floated somewhere between nine and 11 miles and my shoulders are dead. And I don't know if you can see, I'm a little bit sunburned. <laughs> so um, I've already kind of made an executive decision that this morning is power flow. But you, you know, this practice is customizable to anybody, no matter what you're going through. And, you know, it's made to be practiced every single day. So even though it is power flow per se, uh, I'm going to tone it down and make it a slow flow. And you can always amp up your practice and add in more chaturangas, up dog to down dog. And... Um, <clears throat> I'll give you an opportunity to amp up if that's what you're wanting to do, or you can stay with me and just tone it down and have a nice smooth flow this morning, whether that's higher intensity or lower intensity, whatever you're feeling, okay? So we're gonna start this morning in child's pose. Let's start there. Making sure my phone is on silent. Probably make sure your phone is too, just so you're not distracted at home. All right, so child's pose, balasana pose. <clears throat> Let your heart melt down. Hips sink to your heels. And start to take some deep breaths in and out in ujjayi. In and out through your nose. Feel your abdomen really start to do some work on your exhale here. Take one more breath in. Empty it all out. Come up to a tabletop as you breathe in. Place your knees underneath your hips. Look up in cow pose. Breathe in. Cat as you exhale. And keep going. Cow and cat. I'm going to give my neck some love here. So again, if you have tight hips, Tight shoulders, tight neck. Maybe you're just feeling really loose and, and good this morning, and that's fine too. I want you to give yourself exactly what you need and know that however you feel right now is exactly perfect, okay? There's not like a, oh, I should have been doing X, Y, or Z on my mat. No. If the mind does interject with the shoulds or the shoulds or the coulds and the woulds and all of that, you know, future anticipation, judgment, really consciously sweep it in with your inhale and then blow it out with the exhale. Come into a space of non-judgment.
two more rounds here. Awakening your spine, all your vertebrae. Okay, sink back into child's pose now. As you inhale, swivel your hips over to the right. Okay, and up. Feel the weight shift into your hands. And then over to the left, push your hips to the left and back and down to child's pose as you exhale. So you're gonna make this big counterclockwise rotation. Hips over to the right and up. You can kind of find a little um, cobra pose if that would feel good to you. Over to the left, back and down on the exhale. One more time on this side. Up and around, back and down. Other way, three rounds. Over to the left, inhaling up, gripping with my fingers, back and down on the exhale. Last round right here. Meeting in the child's pose, knees together, come up to tabletop as you breathe in. Push back into down dog as you exhale. About five to seven breaths here in down dog, pedal at your feet. Get some movement, whatever would feel good to you. Press your heart towards your ankles and scoop your tailbone up higher. Soft bend in your knees. Take a huge breath in. Blow it out. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe it all out. Bring your feet together. Float your right leg high. Three-legged dog. Now bend your top knee, feel your hips stack on top of each other. Deep breaths. Look underneath your left armpit, see if you can see your right toes in the air. You gotta wiggle those toes, there they are. Knees and exhale to float your foot down. Opposite leg lifts as you breathe in. For a three-legged dog, heart still presses towards your toes, hips are lifted. Bend your top knee, hips stack on top of each other. Push your heart, lift your knee, and then look underneath your right armpit, see if you can see your toes. Okay, take one more big breath in, look forward, and tippy toe all the way forward into a rag doll pose. You can grab onto opposite elbows and make a box around your head here, drop your head down, or if you'd like to, take your hands to your low back with me. Drop your head down. Squeeze your shoulders onto your back. And just create a lot of space. I've been trying out different hairstyles, y'all, because <laughs> why not, right? I'm just realizing that they don't always work as anticipated. <laughs> right? Just like on your mat. You try a pose, it doesn't quite feel good, right? If you have your hands clasped, you're like, uh, I'm not really feeling it. Okay, change it, right? You have the opportunity to create exactly what you need for yourself. Right here. Drop your head some more. Get empty. Drop your hands if they're not already. Even if you have opposite elbows, drop your hands down. Lift halfway, breathe in. Forward fold. Again, lift halfway. Forward fold. Last time, half lift, think cow pose. Cry your heart forward, lengthen your side bodies, breathe in. Forward fold as you exhale. Sweep all the way up, all the way up to the ceiling. Reach up. Pull your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. 
Empty it all out. I want you to set your intention right here in this space. A simple word or phrase that can draw you back into yourself if and when your mind interjects. If and when you start to think, I can't do this anymore, right? I want to give up. I need this. Like, you want to reground and refocus inward, right? All of those thoughts are centered outside of the body. So we want to draw all of our attention and all of our focus inward and what's happening in the body. And you're going to be surprised when you draw all your energy inward what your body is capable of. Okay, breathe into your capability and blow out all doubt. Do it again. Breathe in. Empty out. Take an ohm together. Breathe in.
One more, breath in. Breathe it out. Look forward. Walk, jump, step. Half lift. <laughs> forward fold. Reach all the way up, breathe in. Forward fold as you exhale. Half lift. All right, step your right foot back this time. Way back here in a low lunge. Left arm sweeps up, breathe in. Stay, breathe out. Breath in. Breath out. One more, inhale. High plank as you exhale. Breath in. Out. In. Empty. Shift forward. Breathe in. Lower all the way down. All right, this time, take your arms a little bit wider and you can come up on your tippy fingers or you can go palms flat, up to you. I encourage you to shift between the two and explore. On your inhale, I want you to lift your head and chest, breathe in, and then as you exhale, you're gonna dip one shoulder and one cheek down. Your inhale, come up. Your exhale, opposite side, shoulder and cheek dip down. Keep going. And you don't even have to straighten your arms all the way. So you could make this smaller, right? Bend in the elbows and dip. If you have tight shoulders, you're gonna be feeling this. One more on each side. Already sweating. <laughs> I hope you are too. Cobra pose, come up, put your hands closer to your body, a little bit past, a little bit further below, like in line with your chest, below your shoulders. Press and grip into your palms, then lift slow and steady. You can start to straighten your arms. If your shoulders are right up by your ears, I want you to drop them down and away. All right, slide bend in your elbows, grip with your fingers, press your legs down. Squeeze your belly up, take a huge breath in, Child's pose as you exhale. Huge inhale. Blow it all out. Come up to tabletop as you breathe in. And downward facing dog as you breathe out. Huge breath in. Lion's breath. Inhale. Exhale, look forward, walk, jump, step forward, lift halfway, fold, sweep up, breathe in, chair pose, breathe out. So you're here in chair pose, funnel everything to the midline of your body, you can reach your arms up for the greatest expression, you can have your hands to your low back, which if you practice with me, you know that's one of my favorite places for my arms to be. Just because again, it helps continue with the openness in your shoulders. Take a breath in, sink a little lower. Weight in the heels, breathe in. Light toes, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take another breath in, fold. Half lift, step your left foot back, spin your back heel down, inhale up, warrior one. Stay here, breathe out. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, exhale. Breath in, breath out. One more time, breathe in, downward facing dog, or if you wanna take chaturanga, you're welcome to take it. Up dog is your inhale if you're taking the flow. 
Down dog is your exhale. So if you go straight to down dog with me, you're just taking an extra breath in and out, okay? So creativity, confidence and courage to know, to know, you know exactly what your body needs. And honestly, it doesn't require any cognitive processes, just feeling the body. Take a big breath in, blow it all out, Walk, jump, step, lift halfway, fold down, reach up, chair pose. Woo, my equilibrium is way off today, all right? So noticing judgment upon the body and then breathing it out. And just however, like I'm like, I'm wobbling today, I'm not feeling strong, okay? Doesn't mean I'm not strong, doesn't mean I'm not capable. It's just momentarily, that's how I feel, that's okay. You're allowed, validate your feelings. Take a breath in, empty. Again, inhale, exhale. Maybe you're like, I'm validating the fact that my thighs are catching on fire. Breathe through it, you got it. Another breath in. Okay, forward fold. Half lift. Step your right foot back for a low lunge. Spin your back heel down, warrior one. Sweep up as you breathe in. Stay on the exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in. Breath out. In. Empty. One last time, breathe in, flow to downward facing dog. Follow your breath to get there. Breath in, down dog. Breath out. Again, inhale. Exhale. Nose breathing in. Empty, squeeze your belly, look forward. Jump, step, lift half, fold. Sweep all the way up. Chair pose. Okay, pull your hands to your heart here in chair pose. Pick your right foot, I mean, pick your left foot. Let's start with the left foot. Pick your left foot up and you're gonna shoot it backwards into airplane pose. Just as transition, nice and slow, come into warrior one. Spin your back heel down, arms up, breathe in. Warrior two as you exhale. Take a moment, line up your heels. Take a breath in, straighten your front leg. Breathe in here, bend your front knee. Straighten, bend. Good. Straighten. Bend. One more time. Straighten. Bend. Really bend. Now reverse. Breathe in. Flow to downward facing dog. However you want to get there. Okay. Breath in. Breath out. One more time. Inhale. Empty out completely. Jump. Step. Lift half, fold, sweep up, Utkatasana, chair pose, hands to your heart, breathe in. This time pick your right foot up, right knee up, slow and steady, shoot it backwards, there's no rush into airplane pose, squeeze your shoulders on your back, you don't want to pay forward, I see this a lot. So you, this is so, so hard to balance like that, you guys. You want a heart forward. Think up dog in your chest. Warrior one. Arms up as you breathe in. Warrior two. Take a breath in. Straighten your front leg. Breathe in here. Bend. Straighten. Bend. Straighten. Bend, see if you can see your big toe as you bend. Two more, straighten, 
bend, last one, straighten, bend, pause, take a breath in, float out, reverse, flow to downward facing dog, breath in, breath out, one more in, empty, look forward, jump, step, half lift, fold, reach up, Utkatasana, hands to your heart, left knee lifts, airplane pose, warrior one, reach up, warrior two, empty, reverse warrior, downward facing dog, or chaturanga, of course, you have that option, breath in, empty out when you're emptying down dog, Spring forward, half lift, full, sweep up, Utkatasana, right knee lifts, airplane pose, you can go warrior three, arms forward, warrior one, reach up, warrior two, empty, reverse it, flow, follow your breath, your breath will tell you exactly what you need. I'll take a chaturanga with you. Up dog. Woo! Down dog. Huge inhale. Blow it all out. Jump or step. Half lift. Fold. Sweep up. Utkatasana. Breath in. Hands to your heart. Okay. Take a huge breath in here. Twist to the right. So left elbow hooks to the outer edge of your right knee or lay your left forearm across your quadriceps. Breath. Now this is a big move that we're about to do, so I want you to take a huge breath in. Empty out. Left foot steps back. Open your arms up. Warrior two. Stay. Side angle pose. Forearm to knee, or quad, or fingers to the floor. My arm here, I'm not dumping into the arm. It looks like this. Really light. I'm absorbing weight in the abdomen. Breath. Top arm forward and down to the floor. Swivel onto the pinky edge of your back foot. Side plank. Front foot steps backwards. Into side plank. You can go tree legs. You can have one leg in the air. Take another breath in. Downward facing dog. Meet you there. Breath in. Breath out. Always options for chaturangas. One more time. Breathe in. Blow it all out. Lift your right leg high. Step forward. Low lunge to standing splits. Back leg springs upwards. Hold here and breathe. Drop your head, that's the key. Switch your gaze to the back of your mat. Walk your hands to your bottom ankle. Maybe you don't even need your hands. You wrap your right arm around your bottom calf, around your bottom ankle, and just kickstand your left arm out to the side. You can maybe grab onto your ankle with both hands. Meet in a forward fold. Lift halfway, fold down, sweep up, Utkatasana, chair pose, hands come to your heart, take a huge inhale, twist, to the left, breath here, pull your shins in line with each other, weight in the heels, now we're preparing for that big move. So take a huge inhale, blow it out. Right foot back, warrior two, spin open, stay, reverse. Side angle pose, elbow to quad or any other like variation that would feel good. You can even have your hand on a block.
Top arm reaches up, forward and down to side plank. Right, use your left hand to grab your left foot as you swivel onto the pinky edge of your back foot and step your left foot backwards into side plank. Breath here. Hips push away from your bottom wrists. Deep breaths. Meet in downward facing dog. When you make it to down dog, take a huge inhale. Empty out, look forward. And journey all the way forward. Half lift, fold. Shoot your right leg up into standing splits. Kind of miss some steps. We get into the same pose, just a little bit differently. Notice how it feels. Do you like it better lunging forward or do you like it better just lifting your leg up? Notice the judgment and then breathe it out. You know, it can be like, oh, I'm a bad yoga teacher because I didn't do the same thing on each side. I'm like, it doesn't matter, right? What matters is time spent connecting with breath. Hug your belly up to your top foot. Take another inhale. Forward fold. Split your feet apart. I'm going wide to the edges of my mat. I'm hooking my first two fingers around my big toes for our Pada Bustasana. Heart forward. Once I have that connection, I'm lengthening. And then bend your elbows. Forehead pulls down to your shins or in between your shins here. Okay? Breathe with yourself. Breathe with yourself. Whatever forward fold you're in, stay connected. It's so easy to check out and fold and be like, oh, I need a drink, I need a blow, I know I'm gonna distract myself. But I want you to stay here, right here. Release your hands, heel toe your feet together. Press into your feet, stand up, reach your arms up. Hands to your heart. Good, take a breath in, empty out, sweep your arms high, eagle pose, right leg over, right arm under, belly cinches up into the crest of your ribs, right, like a crunch on the front side of your body, and then from that crunch space, grow up. Relax your shoulders, but lift your elbows. Take a huge breath in, get empty, unravel, reach up. Left leg over, left arm under. Woo, the tops of my quads are sunburned, y'all, so I'm feeling this more burns in ways than one, okay? So just breathe. Maybe you're like, I'm grateful that I'm not sunburned. You're like, I wish I was sunburned, okay? Blow the judgment out. Unravel, reach up. Hands to your heart. Right knee lifts up into your chest. Hand to knee. All right, or you can grab onto your foot or your big toe, all right, for big toe grab. So that's up to you, right? Whatever you have connected, I'm gonna hold on to my knee this morning. I want you to open it up to the right. Left arm can open up. Maybe you shift your gaze to the left. Keep hugging your belly in and up. Okay, pull your knee back into your chest. Airplane pose. Push your heel behind you, heart forward. Hands come to your heart. Half moon with no hands. Just to start, half moon with no hands. You open up, use your top heel as an anchor, then maybe open your arms up. Deep breaths. Keep extending into the length of your body, you got it. Top shoulder reaches straight up. One more breath in, forward fold. Lift halfway, fold. Reach all the way up. Hands to your heart. Left knee hugs up into your chest. You can hold on to your knee with your hand or grab your foot or your big toe. 
open up to the left. Maybe you gaze to the right. Maybe you smile a little bit. Because you have a healthy body to step on your mat with. Ah, come back to center. Hands come to center. Airplane pose. Push your heel behind you. Pull your heart forward. Half moon with no hands. Stack your shoulders. Stack them. Top hip lifts. Top leg lifts. Maybe open your arms up. Breath. Suction your belly to your spine. Reach up through your top shoulder. Take another big breath in. Forward fold. Feet come together. Stand up. Reach your arms up. Hands to your heart. Tree pose. Lift your right leg and hug your heel above or below your knees. Totally cool. On the inside of your standing leg, belly suctions in and up. And from this little belly suction, you want to grow, grow upwards with your heart. Maybe you grow up with your gaze. You feel the sides of your body grow long as well. Your left hip presses down. So there's a big downward press in the left hip. Your right hip is a little bit lifted. It's a slight tilt to the pelvic bowl. All right, engage your belly. Switch sides. Tree pose. And there's a fusion. You press your lifted foot into your standing leg and then press your standing leg back into your foot. You feel those two weld together in connection. And uh, then you grow up from there. It's a fusion. Right? One trunk. Many limbs, but connected to one tree. That is you. Use your next exhale, slowly step out, mountain pose. Take a huge breath in. Empty out. Take another inhale. Blow it out. Sweep your arms up high. Inhale. Forward fold. Half lift. Optional chaturanga or go straight to downward facing dog. Up to you. When you make it to downward facing dog, there's no rush. Lift your right leg high. Step forward. Warrior one. Reach up. Open up warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Reach forward and into triangle pose. Breath here in triangle pose. One more breath in. Okay. Stand up. Turn your Toes, I'm going to turn around and face you guys, okay, so we can do this together. Toes out, heels in. All right, we're going for straddle or horse pose. Woo, there's a lot of different, <laughs> there's a lot of different names for it. So you're going to start to sink your hips down and then lift up. All right, that's the, mo the movement with the hips. Now, it seems super easy, but what I want you to do is I want you to try to sink down. Hips in line with your knees as you exhale. Inhale, stand up. All right, here we go. Arms up, inhale. Sweep low as you exhale. And squat. Arms up, breathe in. Squat low. Three more. Up. Nice and slow. Low. Push it, push it. Up. Low. Get into the body. Press up from the heels. Last time, squat low. Hands can be at the knees. Right? Pulse. Baby pulses from here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Swivel your feet around. Pyramid pose. So technically your right foot would be forward and your left foot would be behind you. Bow over your front leg. Take a half lift. Stay. Right hand goes high for a twist. You can have hand at your hip or hand up to the ceiling. Breathe here for five, four, three, two, one. Make your way to downward facing dog. However you see fit, be creative as you flow, all right? When you make it to down dog, lift your left leg high. Step forward, warrior one. Reach up on an inhale. Open up warrior two. Okay, straighten your front leg. You're gonna reach forward with your front fingers and then drop them down. I like to place my hand on my leg. I don't have a block handy. I do, but it's like way over there. <laughs> I like to just stay on my mat. Just stay committed to the time on your mat. Any time off the mat, even mentally, is a distraction. Keep reaching your heart forward towards your toes. Take another big breath in. Sweep down and around. This time wide-legged forward fold. Toes in, heels out. Stretch out what you just created in your legs. <laughs> if you have like cement pillars for legs like me this morning, it takes a minute to like get into the pose. All right, and then you might still find some adjustments in the pose. You can stay folding forward or you can skandasana, bend into one knee, shift your hips on top of that heel. Lift the opposite foot up off the ground, the heel's on the ground, but the toes are lifted towards the ceiling. So you can feel this big opening through the inner thigh area. You can stay on one side as long as you like. You can switch from side to side. Stay broad, you don't wanna close yourself off, okay? Stay broad across your chest, really open through the heart space. Shift if you want, maybe you are even shifting. We're gonna meet in pyramid pose with your left foot facing forward, or just whatever foot you haven't done. You're staggering your feet, there's lateral space. So if I actually stepped my back foot forward, I would be like in a regular standing position. So when I slide my right foot backwards, it's still in that same line of a standing position. It's just staggered behind me. So I can fold over my legs with still plenty of space for my hips and breathe. Hmm. Take a twist, lift halfway first, stay on the exhale, right hand is down, left arm lifts up for the twist. Breathe. One more huge inhale. Forward fold, step your back foot forward. Come up on your tippy toes, tippy toes. Sink your hips down to your heels now for toes pose. You want the, the mounds of your big toes to be touching, okay? This is important. Now, try to lift your belly up off of your thighs, okay, as much as, as, much as possible this morning. And you can take your knees wide into a standing butterfly. Now, you'll notice that the balls of your feet the big toe mounts, they connect, as well as your heels. You want this connected point, right? So that you can keep that connected point in the feet and send that up into the belly. Knees go wide. Okay, bring your knees back together slowly. Have a seat. Whew. Okay, so you're here in a seated position. Feet are on the floor, knees to the ceiling. I want you to take your right leg into boat pose. 
It's like a half boat pose. And then grab onto your right foot, or you can hold onto the knee. I think it's harder on the knee. Grab onto your foot. You can keep it extended or bent. Open up, right arm back behind you. So you're in this like twisted position. Now, kind of lean backwards onto the butt bones a little bit. You're gonna take your left leg and extend it down your mat, just hovering off the ground. Hold here and breathe. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center, boat pose. Hold boat pose, both feet lifted. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Both feet on the floor. Give yourself a hug. Drop your head down in between your knees. Let's do the other side, shall we? So don't walk around all lopsided throughout the day just because we didn't do both sides of this one pose. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take your right hand now and grab your left foot. It's coming up into boat pose. All right, you can extend or keep it bent. Swivel your heart towards the left side of the room. Left hand can be at your hip or you can reach it back behind you. All right, lean backwards and extend your right leg down your mat. Hover, breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center, both pose. Hold here in boat or go extended boat for five, four, three, two, one. Low boat, everybody, hover. Five, four, you're skimming off the ground. Two, one, relax. Relax, bring the soles of your feet to connect for a reclined butterfly pose. All right, Supta Baddha Konasana in Sanskrit. I like using Sanskrit, not all the time, but sometimes because it reminds us of the ancientness of this practice, of the history behind this practice. All right, Sanskrit, you guys, is just like Latin and you know, I, I grew up Catholic in the church, super Catholic. <laughs> Catholic elementary school, grade school, all that good stuff. And we learned Latin. We went to mass and it was in Latin. And, you know, there's a lot of um, things to be said for dead languages. When you speak them aloud, right, you can feel the history that we're here in 2020, right? I'm in Arkansas, wherever you are, like here in the United States, like, Right? where yoga wasn't even around here a hundred years ago. So just gratitude for the fact that you're on your mat, you're here. What you can and can't do does not matter. What matters is how you connect with your breath. So connect with your breath right now. And take another big breath in. Empty out. One back bend, okay, one for 10 breaths. Bridge or wheel pose, go on up. You could go five and five. Let's just honor system 10 breaths. I want you to really be focused on your breath. Not about how bendy you are or how much you can lift your hips or how deep you can go and wheel. Just how much can you connect with breath? How long can you push that exhale? You're gonna use an exhale to calm down slowly. Ugh, untuck your shoulders. Knock your knees from side to side. So with your feet really wide on your mat, to the edges of your mat, knees are apart, take your knees to the right in this like accordion supine twist. If you wanna deepen this, put your right ankle on top of your left quadricep. All right, just close to the knee, just enough to feel that pressure pull down into the left side body. You'll feel that up, I feel that up in my hip flexor when I do that, and up in my oblique, and it feels 
oh so good. Again, judgment, like feels good, that's still judgment. I'm letting that go as the exhale. As the exhale leaves my body, all thought, all judgment leaves the body as well. It will come back. <laughs> you don't have to worry about all of the ego being gone. The ego will come back, I, I promise you. <laughs> Switch sides, feet on the floor, take it to the other side. But for a moment, it's nice to just relinquish the ego. You know, just kind of saying, screw you ego. You screw me all the time. <laughs> so we need a break for a moment. <laughs> all right, you can deepen on this side, left foot on top of the right knee slash quadricep. And really try to soften here, everybody. You want to keep a, a slight connection of your belly as you exhale, but everything else is really softening, like through your shoulders, through your face, especially through your hips and your legs. Feet on the floor, come back to center, hug your knees into your chest, and rock and roll the length of your spine. Rock and roll, forward and backwards. Get some momentum going. All right, pop yourself up and back to downward facing dog. Once you make it to downward facing dog, lift your right leg high, okay? Look forward, and you're gonna set your leg into half pigeon pose. So hug your knee into your nose, and start to shift your knee over to your right wrist, and lay it down for half pigeon pose. Back knee slides way back there. You can, or you can slide your back knee forward for deer pose, that's up to you. All right, bow over your front leg, five breaths. Rise up wherever you are, and I want you to take your right peace fingers, hook them around your right big toe, and you're gonna roll onto your right shoulder and onto your back for, <laughs> I think one time Terry Honeysuckle called this um, roadkill pigeon, so. <laughs> All right, or belly up pigeon, whatever you wanna call it. All right, foot is in the air. It's actually half, half happy baby. If you feel this, your knee is hugged way down towards your armpit, outer edge of your ribs, foot is up to the ceiling, and you're just holding here, you're breathing. Okay, try this, fun and playfulness. Hug your knee into your chest. Well, before we go for playfulness, hug your knee into your chest. All right, and take this knee across your body for a supine twist. We're, just, we're not gonna rush the process this morning. I just realized that you can't see at all. It doesn't matter, right? Like, hopefully you're just following along, listening, that you don't, you don't need to see with your eyes to know what you're doing, okay? You could essentially do the whole practice with your eyes closed, right? Right? If you had a good enough teacher that could guide you through it without saying, put your foot here or move there, right? Very strong um, cueing and instructions which most teachers around here are really good about that. So, so that you can really learn to build trust with yourself on your mat. Okay, now, unravel wherever you are. I want you to unravel and take a really big stretch. If you're off your mat, that is okay. I, I encourage you to play. Hug your knees into your chest, rock and roll the length of your spine. You're gonna be facing the opposite way. That's okay, plant your palms. Step or jump back into downward facing dog. All right? Now you're here in downward facing dog. You're facing a different direction. It's okay. Lift your left leg high for three-legged dog. Deep breaths here in three-legged dog. I want you to look forward and then curl your knee into your nose. Move into half pigeon pose. Knee towards your left wrist and lay it down gently, mindfully, controlled. 
Back knee slithers way back there. All right, or slide it up for deer pose, all right? Or, you know, I haven't said this in my classes, but if this is like you have hip or knee injuries, you can do this on your back as well. And I'll, I'll actually um, show you that here. So if you do have pigeon on your back, you lay on your back, one ankle on top of the opposite quadricep, right? Thread your hands through your legs and grab the back of your right quadricep or the top of your right shin. Because as you're stretching your left hip flexor, all right, you're gonna feel this as you pull this into your body. So you can be the judge of how deep you wanna feel this, all right? So if you're on your back, that's cool. If you're in regular half pigeon, that's cool, or deer pose. Everybody take two more deep breaths. All right, and from here, you're gonna hook your left first two fingers around your left big toe. Roll over onto the left shoulder into that roadkill pigeon half happy baby. Breath. Heel is high. And then from here, hug your knee into your body and take it across your body for a supine twist. Okay, unravel and take a really big stretch up and down the length of your mat, arms overhead, feet down your mat. I'm gonna encourage you to take any movement um, right now, that would feel good to you. Yes, please do. As we make our way into Savasana, so make your way there now into Savasana, corpse pose. And you can rest in Savasana in any position that would feel good to you. And take a really big breath in. Blow it all out. And just remember that today, no matter how much you have going on or how little you have going on, you know, how much food is in your refrigerator or how little food or money in your bank account or not, just remember that you are capable you are strong and you are worthy. You're worthy of love. I want you to also remember today that there's a big difference between being still and doing nothing. Right? Being still is intentional. It's important to be still to disconnect and reground and refocus into what is important. 
And so right now, lying completely still, I want you to recognize your worth and your importance and your purpose. And take a big, beautiful breath in. Empty it all out. Curl onto your favorite side in the fetal position. And rise up to a seat. Hands come to your heart center. Take a final deep breath in. And blow it all out. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'm going to be talking more about slowing down and that difference between being still and doing nothing this afternoon in Revival Flow. And um, hopefully in Revival Flow, you will get a chance to revive something within yourself that maybe was lost or was forgotten about, or maybe there's something new that you're cultivating. Like this is a whole new era for all of us. So it's a great time to go inward and explore what's available. So we'll be talking about that this afternoon if you wanna tune back in with me. Um, 4.30, Revival. I'll see you then. <laughs>